In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the steps that are required to use the username variable to display the user's name anywhere in your project. Now at the beginning of the game on template, we provide you with a screen where you can ask the user to submit their name. So let's just go ahead and enter a name. And then after we submit it, you can see here we display it to the screen. We also display the user's name at the very end of the project on the congratulations screen. But if you want to use this variable to display the user's name on different slides throughout your course, it's really simple. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this is done. So let's go ahead and do a quick example of how to use the name variable to display the user's name onto the screen. The first thing I'm going to want to do is create a new slide. And I'm going to choose the title only slide and then click insert. And then at the top, I'm going to want to add my title and I'm going to say hello and then put a comma and say let's play. And a little bit later on, we're going to add the user's name into this title. But for now, let's insert a character just to have something on the screen. Um, once again, I'm going to use Atsumi and I want to use the image of her pointing up. So let's insert this and resize it so it's a little bit larger. And then now I want to use my variable and I'm going to select my title again and right behind hello I'm going to hit the space bar to make a space and then I'm going to click on the insert tab and then in the text area click on reference. And from here you can see every variable that's included with your template. Now at the very bottom there's a variable called username. All you have to do is select that, click OK, and then you now have a reference to the username on the slide. So let's go ahead and jump into preview mode and see what this looks like. We are back and we are in preview mode of our game on project. And let's go ahead and take a look at how the variable displays the username on the screen that we just created. So let's quickly add a name and submit. And then as usual, the username that we enter is displayed at the bottom of our submit screen. And let's just jump into level one, which is where we created our sample screen. And as you can see here at the very top of the slide, our username is now displayed. And that's how simple it is to use the username variable to display names throughout your project. Before we end this tutorial, let's just give you one more quick tip on how you can use the usernames, but this time we're going to use it inside of a caption. So here you can see I have a simple slide where I have the articulate character on the screen, and then I'm going to insert a caption and then simply drag this onto the screen. And then let's just type good job and then hit spacebar. And then once again, in the text area, click on reference, and then you're going to want to select the username variable again. And you can see it displayed onto the screen between the two uh, percentage icons. So let's preview this and see what it looks like. Here we are once again in preview mode, and as we did last time, let's enter a name. And then let's quickly jump into level one. And then here you can see our name is now displayed inside of our text caption. So that's just a quick rundown on how you can use the username variable to display the user's name anywhere throughout your project. Thanks for watching. And once again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or watch some of our other tutorials on how to use the game on template.